As most of you know, Equifax was just hacked and what was stolen was almost half of the country's personal information. They gave away names, addresses, birth dates, social security numbers, and in some cases, even driver's license information. This was the largest breach in US history. It probably will not be the last time that something like this will happen. If you happen to be one of the people who's had their information stolen, you are now candidates for identity theft. And to protect yourself against identity theft, the best thing you can do is to freeze your credit. Freezing your credit means that no new loans, credit cards, mortgages can be made in your name. If you place the freeze on your account, you of course can reverse that freeze. But once the freeze is in place, no one, even the person who may have stolen your identity, can make any loans in your name. And the main reason for stealing someone's identity is exactly that. Make loans in their name, get credit cards in their name, they get billed and the thief winds up with the benefits. Here you have the phone numbers and the websites of the three major credit reporting companies. You'd have to contact all three of them and put a freeze on your credit to prevent anyone else, including yourself, from making new loans. When you place a freeze on your credit, you'll have to make up a PIN number, and it's that PIN number that you'll be using when it comes time to unfreeze your credit. Therefore, remember that PIN number. If you don't know it, you won't be able to unfreeze your credit. Now, freezing doesn't mean you can't use what you currently have. So your credit card, the mortgages that you have, all of that stuff, they stay just as they are right now. You just can't extend anything or make anything new.